Meanwhile, the announcement of a KKK event that is reportedly planned for the Adamsville area this fall is sending shockwaves through that community. City leaders say it's a lightning bolt of hate out of the blue. WIAT 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan joins us live from Adamsville where people are trying to figure out why the Klan chose their town. Mike? The city of Adamsville got a mysterious fax about a month ago that hinted about a Klan meeting of some sort in October without really giving many details. People we spoke with are outraged, and city leaders have their fingers crossed that it won't really happen, or at least it won't happen here. The city of Adamsville got this fax about a month ago, according to Mayor Pam Palmer. It says the new Empire Knights of the Ku Klux Klan, Adamsville AL, October 24th through 26th. There's a picture of a cross burning. With no other information, Palmer says they don't know the exact location for or reason behind the event because the group doesn't give out information to non members. However, it is listed on the Anti Defamation League website on a list of upcoming extremist related. Events. According to the ADL, the event will include cross burning. The question is, why Adamsville? Residents are stunned. It was news to me, it shocked me that they still do such things. I would like to think those days were gone. This day of time burn a cross? I don't know if that's going to be good around here. I hope the, the city officials and the city council will be able to cut that off before that even take place. The city would require a permit for such an event, and no one has applied for one, according to Mayor Palmer. She says they think the actual location for the event will be Shady Grove, a little piece of unincorporated Jefferson County, which is not part of Adamsville. Either way, Palmer says anyone who wants to burn anything would need a permit from the county, even if they were burning on private property. The cross burning will be the thing that will, out of all of it, that will bring about the, uh, the animosity, the ill will, or the possibility for some type of actions to break out amongst those that are in, in attendance or those that may hear about the event. The Adamsville mayor says she can't stand the Klan and hopes it won't come to Adamsville, but if it does, she says it better be peaceful and it better have a permit. We reached out to the group, but so far we have not heard back. Live in Adamsville, Mike McClanahan, WIAT 42 News. Coverage you can count on.